Right. Yeah. But it's it's a very um, like if you play it again and again, you are get the same kind of story. It's kind of an I interesting mean, question. At, yeah, maybe so. I mean, it's an interesting question because as I have found, and this is this is surprising about Cold Soldier, is its replayability is very high. There's very different kinds of values that get challenged. And you talked about how you personally, via the lens of the character, so you may have been repelled more than the character, but via the lens of the character, you found yourself uh, drawing different lines of what, you know, where and when you would resist. And, right. um, and that is very different for different concepts of the cold soldier, different concepts of the master, different contexts of the setting as a whole. And so it really ends up being, it's a, it's, it's my distinction between idiom and genre, right? Idiom is when we have a set of shared and familiar uh, motifs or tropes that we bring in. Um, you, and, and But genre is when the story itself and its meaning are locked down by the fans and the critics. So right. they, they, they not only want to see cowboy hats and guns, they also need it to turn out a certain way and carry a certain message. Otherwise, they'll be pissed. That's when, it, in my mind, that's genre. Before that, if you can do anything you want with cowboy hats and pistols, and who knows what it's going to be like? Who knows what this is going to say? Who knows what's bad and what's good? Yeah. Then it's an idiom. And so Cold Soldier does the idiom beautifully. But it won't tell you what's good or bad or how it should turn out. It's, it, it actually allows freedom in a very narrow tunnel to get to that freedom that, that actually says, and the game won't tell you. Right. I mean, it's the, it's the basic, uh, focusing on like it, it, it asks you, the question, but it doesn't tell you right. the answer. And, and or even quite the frame of the answer. So it's, it's actually, or the question, I mean, it doesn't quite frame the question too strongly. And I really like that. Yeah. And it, it, uh, it seems to me that I would use this game as a teaching tool a lot. It's one of the, it's one of the games that I would, you know, your, um, Svarthi Val has right. a, a teaching quality to it. I would I would be comfortable sitting down with a group of people who were unfamiliar with the activity and say, okay, let's do this. Now there's a hundred different games and a hundred different ways that this is done. But this time, these are the procedures. And when you see them halfway through, you know, bringing their hand up high and you know right. Yeah, right. You, <laughs> you know, during play and when and when and if, because it always is an if, even with Cold Soldier, when and if the the rising action delivers confrontations that all of us are engaged in. When that happens, then you can say, all right, afterwards, do you see what we did? Do you see that you we're in the state of creating a powerful thing, a powerful fiction. You were in the state of doing this without some boring, tedious negotiation about <sighs> what was going to happen next. Right. Yeah. No, I no think shit it, like that was involved. Yeah. I, I think it's, um, uh, I think you're right that it's, it's the same kind of, uh, like when you say teaching tool, you mean it, it both of these games uh, sort of teach you a skill. I think I've noticed a lot with, with Sparta Paul that it, um, the giving of beast commands. Mm -hmm. So for, for anyone listening to this who don't know about that game, you, you give a, you give a, mm -hmm. uh, to do an immoral thing and they have the choice to do it or not. But if they refuse, um, they weaken their character and they will, 
they will sort of have, have problems and conflicts. Uh, and I found that this is uh, this is a skill that takes some time. Like new players who are not favored, who haven't done this thing or anything similar before, find it difficult to come up with these things with, with sort of good beast commands. They have to be in a specific way. Like they should be short. They sure. should be. They, they yeah. should be in a in a sort of right. nice. Uh, I really don't want to do this, but it's. it's yeah, there's a space there. Kind of you can see why you would do it, but you don't want to. And yeah, that, right. uh, however, I suggest that at least based on my experience with certain games of this kind, that although from the bottom, you look up at this curve of learning and it seems so steep. So, you know, how am I, how, wait, I do it. How, you know, how am I, what, what, how do I say this? When should I say it? That kind of thing. You're you know, you're, you're, you're struggling with that. And you have text in Svartik Fall, which is one reason I bring it up, which is very much designed for reference for the player who's struggling for it. Yeah. Right. And so if they refer to that and they say, okay, so there are rules. I'll read the rules and I can follow those. But once they get over that curve, they look back and they're like, oh, that wasn't very hard at all. Right. So that's what I'm talking but, about. So, it's, it's, yeah. it's the, the, the difficulty is illusory. It only looks hard before you try it a couple of times. And once you do, you're like, you're, you're not even thinking about it anymore. You're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else at the and table I is think, like, oh, shit. I He's, think you know. that text mm -hmm. uh, in the game where it basically uh, the goal of the text is telling you, all right, so you, you can do this thing. And it can be really good or it can be really bad. And this these are the characteristics that make it good. This is this is how you do this thing in a good way that will that will make a good story. This is the skill you need to practice. Uh, and I think the um, um, the corresponding thing in Cold Soldier, I guess, would be that part that says you, the the player of the Dark Master, choose something that right. you find repellent. It's a big that part of it. What will make this good? There's this a, is what one, will make yeah. it. There's there's a there's another piece which is on the other side of the table I think that goes right with it, which is that the player of the cold soldier must act, and there's so much in many role playing games where people find ways to dodge either acting or responsibility for acting. Yeah, they to dodge that is a whole textbook of descriptions and examples and specific game rules and specific play cultures by which people have perfected the art of you can't blame me for what happened i only did it because the rule made me do it i only did it because the character would have made me do it i didn't have to do it so i didn't you can't make me my guy won't you know all these things all yeah. these ways either to act and not be responsible for it or to not act and not be touched, right? All these ways. Cold Soldier won't let anybody do that ever. For a game right. where you have almost no agency, just like you were saying a few minutes ago, for a game where you have almost no agency as a player, the agency you have is profoundly proactive. Yeah, and it's inescapable because of yeah. the rigid nature. Exactly. Now it's you, or now it's my turn. I do. I have to do one of these things, and they are they are mechanical things. They have thematic meaning, but they are mechanical things, and I have to do one of them. Right, and then the so fact that, that you do narrate in specific points, as you say, the places where you do get to narrate are very precise, and so I find that the the driving quality. Just like in Svartikval, I mean, when you're commanded and you either choose not to or you don't, your ability to describe your character doing it or withholding from doing it is very, very easy. Yeah. The other, the person that you've commanded, you actually get to watch them respond intuitively to what you said. And I found in the one game that I've played with you, I found that the intimacy between me and the other players was very high because of that precise quality. I don't know if you saw this, but at one point, involuntarily, the person sitting next to me and I actually clasped hands briefly. 
Oh, really? Yeah. No, I didn't know There was no, that. I mean, and it wasn't like we didn't look at each other or anything, but just the way we were interacting and our, my, my, I guess my hand was up or something or one of our hands was up and I don't know who did it, but for like 10 seconds, you know, we just ripped hands and it was not, you know, it was, it wasn't creepy or anything, right? There was no <laughs> flirtation, whatever. It was, it was just a really nice moment of connection because we were both into this and having listened to what other people were saying, what each other had said. And so it's those experiences that um, I find valuable. I mean, I'll carry, right. I'll carry experiences like that for my life. And I think um, there, is a, there is a parallel there, uh, like you said, when, when you point out something with the Beast Command or the, you, uh, the, the Dark Master, mm -hmm. I mean, it's the same thing. The Dark Master gives the command. Uh, and in everyone, I, I guess in Cold Soldier, there are only two players in sort of call it. It's multiple player, but but everyone is sort of right. waiting for what is your response. Absolutely. And it's, it's like, and it's clearly your turn to say something and everyone is really interested and engaged in what is this answer going to be? Because it is, everything has driven it to that this mm -hmm. thing you're going to say now, this thing is really important. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I, that really I, it drives have consequences uh, either way. Yeah. I mean, as you say, there's consequences right now in terms of fictional events and there's consequences of mechanically. What does this mean yeah. for me? And, and they I, are I, consequences I, that we care about. Right. right. That all of us, we really care about. Uh, I mean, hopefully uh, the game is going to be really interesting yeah. no matter what you choose. Right. But it's really important what you choose. It's that, a really exactly. important choice. I completely agree with you. I think these are extremely important design and play experience considerations. Um, I'm going to close it simply because you and I are capable of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could sit here for a minute. We, for we a could roll time. with this, and I don't think we'd be wasting our time. I think that you know, we could right. bring up another game yes. that we've both played or something and hear all sorts of things uh, that, that would be valuable, but we'll save it, I think, for another time. I don't want to uh, leave you without saying something that you wanted to say. So is there anything you wanted to finish off with or add? I don't think so. We've gotten a lot of different tactics, and I, I think I, the, the thing that really that uh, I took with me design-wise from from playing Cold Soldier with you was, was really this, this really interesting... Um, uh, symbiosis between making decisions that are mechanically, like gamingly, uh, gaming decisions, gaming decisions, uh, win or lose decisions, and thematic decisions. What do I actually want? And I think that the way that they interacted really, really impressed me with this game. And this, that's, I think that's the the main point for me that I'm gonna take with me to, to sort of ponder it. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, Simon. Um, All right. Thank you very much. Have a great time over there and I'll see you I when will. you get back. Yeah. All right. Take care.